Hey everyone, Anthony Fantano here, internet's busiest music nerd. I hope you're doing well, and it's time for our weekly track roundup where I go over the best and worst tracks of the week. That's what we are doing. Uh, whether I love the tracks, hated them, or felt somewhere in between. Uh, yeah, yeah I'm, I'm going to link the songs down below so you can check them out for yourself. Cool? Cool. That's what we are uh, going to do. Also linked down below per usual, of course, of course, of course, uh, is our Turntable Lab link. Uh, we get kickback from it if you use it to buy some frickin' vinyl, some turntable stuff, some whatever supports the channel. If you use it, thank you. Uh, also, we have our Patreon page down below. It's, uh, below. Uh, get some extra bonus monthly content while supporting us in the process over there. Access to our Discord community as well. That's uh, also very cool. And um, yeah, our YouTube uh, shorts page is uh, linked down there with a lot of cool short form content that you can watch. And that's all you got to know. All right. Worst tracks of the week. He's kind of buff. Let's do it. Uh, what do we have over here as far as worst tracks? Oh, Owl City, car trouble. <laughs> what's What's the trouble with this car? It turns out there's 10,000 fireflies in the in the, in the in the crankshaft in the in the alt in the alternator I don't know it's 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 a mid song uh, listening to Owl City in 2024 I don't recommend it all right uh the songs I was met on yeah not not a lot of worse tracks this week sorry sorry guys sorry sorry about that they are as follows first up uh, DJ Premier the legendary producer and DJ has teamed up with none other than Russ for a song called Work This Out. And yeah, it's kind of a melodic, chill, low key, you know, breakup, makeup, romantic type of track. Um, you know, not necessarily DJ Premier's strong suit. I think Russ sounds like he's very much in his bag on the song, but, um, you know, it's, it's not what I seek out from him, but uh, I'm, I'm sure it plays well with those uh, who do uh, dig on this kind of thing. It's it's fine for what it is. All right, moving on from there. Uh, we also have a new one from Quavo and Rich the Kid. Um, it's kind of mid outside of uh, some of the crazy uh, squeaky inflections that uh, Rich hits here and there, which are a little future-esque. Uh, the beat is a, a very average, not... Um, you know, a real standout, in my opinion. Real one is the title of this one. Uh, we have a new one from the Marias. I'm not really loving the super whispery, low-key vocal delivery on the track, but the chorus slaps and the bass and the rhythm section go off. Uh, but yeah, a uh, new single from the Marias, new album cycle uh, on the way. And the title of this track is um, run your mouth uh, so, so for, for anybody who's interested. All right, we have a new one from the Black Keys opener to their next full length album. Uh, this is Nowhere is the title. And uh, yeah, you know, it's, it's a bit of a vintage old school rocker. <clears throat> it's not too bad. Uh, not nearly as Ford Truck Month as like the first taste of this album. Uh, still, you know, looking forward to Ohio players. We'll see how it, uh, how it uh, plays out. Uh, new one from Girl in Red as well, a bit of a revert piece of indie rock that is just kind of too washed out for its own good, though I do like the passionate performance on it, uh, that is for sure. Doing It Again, Baby, is the title of this one. Uh, we also have another one from Full of Hell, uh, well, you know, a new new one, rather, because it's a new album cycle, and it's an insane, blistering combination of grindcore with some death metal elements mixed in, some great mosh-worthy riffs. Uh, it's, it's a bit of a blur as an overall experience, but hey, it's heavy, it's fast, it's hard, and what am I looking at here? I have no idea. Is, is this a biblically accurate angel? I, I have no clue. All right, moving on. <laughs> uh, Tenacious D, Jack Black, covering um, Baby One More Time for Kung Fu Panda 4, and that goes over about as well as you could expect. All right, and uh, we also have a remix of the song, uh, um, <laughs> from Four Bats. Uh, Drake is now on the track, and <clears throat> I mean, I, I think it's a little better. It's a little elevated, thanks to uh, Champagne Poppy popping in on the back end, but I'm still not really in love with it as a track, and I think it kind of remains to be seen whether or not uh, this guy is going to be kind of a one-hit wonder or find a way to, you know, make his 
uh, style, his vibe, his sound kind of extend out, you know, beyond just like the success of, you know, this uh, uh, frenzy he's created around this track. Uh, best tracks of the week. We have quite a few of those. Uh, so lock in. Here we go. Uh, new one from Nick Cave and the Bad Seeds. Wild God. Awesome track. Fantastic track. Dramatic vocals, rock and rhythm section, and a just uh, mountainous powerful finish with group vocals and everything it just like really like pulls out all the stops uh for the end do not miss this track it's a powerful track powerful uh, excited for the new album a uh, machine drum absolutely kills it on a new little bit of a dance pop fusion with tinashe they work out really well together on this new cut that's for sure um we also have lauren mayberry of of church's fame come through with some solo material and and i'm liking her over this kind of 90s uh, radio pop sound, it's its grooving, it's great, it's well-written. I, I like her voice a lot in this context. Um, and, and it's funny because prior, I've, I've never considered myself a big Lauren Mayberry fan. I think she has range, she has a voice I recognize, but like, you know, hearing her over this kind of production with this kind of tune, this this like really sold me uh, harder than than a lot of the church's stuff, frankly. And, you know, I've, I've been mostly kind of neutral, you know, middle of the road on churches a lot of the time, but this is like, this is doing it for me. Uh, I'll, I'll be honest. Um, we also have a new one from a, a Leve who previously I've, I've never been, you know, the most gigantic fan of, but <clears throat> this uh, very dramatic Olivia Rodrigo coded new single with a great vocal performance and, um, you know, some big dramatic arranged instrumentation on it too is uh, sounding really great. Goddess is the title of this one. Do not miss uh, out on this track. That's for sure. Uh, we also have a new one over here from Kenny Mason or rather two new ones. Uh, Kenny Mason is somebody who I have been touch and go with for a minute now. And, you know, while I do appreciate in the abstract, uh, that he combines elements of hip hop, that he combines elements of rock music and other stuff too. I, I wouldn't always say it's done well. However, with these two new tracks over here, jumping in and us, I think he's really killing it. I think it's sounding great. I think he's doing better vocally. I think he's doing better lyrically. I think he's picking better production, structuring his songs out better. Um, it's really working for me. So here we have two tastes for an upcoming record that I hope is, uh, you know, improvements on all fronts abound. Uh, we also have a new one from Kamasi Washington. Amazing single. My God. Prologue is the title of this one. Uh, just a futuristic, incredible, grooving, synthy, jazz fusion epic on this track. Bold uh, to drop the prologue as a single and just amazing soloing all around. Uh, the drummers just fire nonstop across the track. It's it's just uh, mind-blowing. All right. We have a new one from Justice Incognito. Pretty much all the teasers to this new record so far from them have been fire like this is kid can we lock it in can we lock it in this is gonna be a good record right this is gonna be a good one come on it's gotta be good it's gotta be good all the albums so far uh sorry singles so far have been great especially this one which uh takes on um you know really a strong kind of electro twist uh moving on from there gene gene dawson let's talk about gene dawson three new tracks all of them are killer they're all killer You've got, oh, geez, I, I like, like there's so, see, here's the thing about the three tracks. They're so vastly different from each other. You have New Age Crisis, you have uh, Divino Desmadre and Taste Like Metal. And you've got elements of, uh, you know, rap and rock and Latin rock in there too. Uh, and, and it's just, it's just crazy. It's just crazy. He's just all over the place, spectrum wise, stylistically. And it's just great songwriting, great vocals, great production every time, every time. The dude's growth is insane. Absolutely insane. Like he has just expanded by leaps and bounds uh, from his last record, which was obviously, you know, very big and very punchy and very ambitious for what it was. Um, but I wasn't expecting like, you know, for him to like even leapfrog some of the beautiful arranged instrumentation that was like on the SZA single. Like he's, he's absolutely killing it right now with these three tracks and it needs to be known. It needs to be known. Uh, we also have Iron and Wine and Fiona Apple on a new track of like, not enough people are talking about this, this, situation here fiona apple and iron and wine all in good time beautiful piano ballad great duet energy solid lyrics as well it's very kind of old world in terms of like the style and the structure and the writing but it's very quaint it's very cute 
it's endearing in the way that most she and him songs wish they were. Uh, moving on from there, flow, killer, great throwback, 2000s R&B style. Yeah, it's nostalgic. Yeah, it's borrowing from an obvious place, but they do it so well. And, uh, you know, just a good songwriting all around. Uh, moving on from there, also throwing it back with Mr. Charlie Crockett. Hard luck and circumstances. Killer country track, vintage sheen on the production. Charlie's got a great voice, good lyrics, uh, nice steady groove on the song as well. It's just great. And uh, Camera Obscura hitting us with another taste of the forthcoming album. A uh, very cute little, you know, kind of jangly indie rock type of cut. We're going to make it in a man's world. Obviously, it's got a, you know, bit of a feminist slant there. Hey, International Women's Day, y'all. Just went by. If you forgot to celebrate it, Stream this track. All right. Um, that's the weekly track roundup. Everybody, that's the weekly track roundup. Uh, hopefully you got some good recommendations out of this video. He's kind of buff. And um, yeah, I will see you guys in the next one. Anthony Fantano, music, weekly tracks forever.